Hey, what's up folks? This is a follow-up on a video I did on Martin about a month ago. Martin is a tile server written in Rust that kind of does everything and it's really awesome. One thing I found when I was uh, reviewing Martin was that it couldn't find PM tiles in this particular PM tiles file I built for our area. And I said I was going to dig into that and see if I could figure out what's going on and then work kind of got in the way and then I started digging and Rust not being my native language, uh, I, I kind of struggled. Uh, Rust is a really nice language. It's it's really nice. Uh, Rust is, is really cool. You should check out Rust if you have some free time. Um, but again, it's not something I've done a whole lot in. You know, I went looking through the code and I eventually narrowed it down to what's happening is where it's going wrong is in this get tile function. And then I figured out this is actually a function that's calling out to a crate. Crate is, is how Rust, that's, that's their term for like a, a dependency. So there's a PM tiles crate written in Rust that this get tile is passing the ZXY to, and that's supposed to be uh, translating that ZXY into a range request. How PM tile file works, as far as I can tell, is there's like a 127 byte header that includes offset information. So it uses that to base on your ZXY to calculate which part of that PM tiles it needs to ship back for that particular tile. That I thought was going on in this PM tiles dependency, but I wasn't sure. The error was coming from this file config. It was this error here, which is a get tile error. So I assumed this was it, but you know, Rust is not uh, Rust is not my bag. So I finally broke down and filed a an issue on GitHub with as much information as I could. Uh, basically saying, I know this tile's here. I can see it with Go PM tiles and the PM tiles previewer and using the PM tiles client side library, but it says it doesn't exist here. I figured out how to turn on the debugger, which is an environmental variable you can set. And it gave a little bit more information and said, I suspected it might be in the PM tiles dependency, but I'm not sure. And then I went to go play video games because the other thing is when you file an issue on GitHub, these, these folks, a lot of them are, are, are volunteering their time to do this. So give them a while. I mean, don't expect immediate response. And I should have expected an immediate response because this legend, NY Eric on, on GitHub, uh, he like almost immediately responded. I apologize. Uh, I wasn't there to, I wasn't looking to, to see this. He figured out exactly what it was, and it was a problem in that PM tiles dependency. And he went over there and he issued a pull request for that, fixed this dependency, and they accepted the pull request. And I went into, uh, I updated the PM tiles version in the cargo file that was in Martin to pull the new version of that dependency and lo and behold it worked perfectly so big shout out to ny eric uh, who i'm sure has a yuri uh, this is awesome he he went above and beyond in fixing this problem and did it really quick like this is a, isn't a problem in something he manages this is some other person's project he went and tracked it down and fixed it on so I've been lucky enough to be in a couple of conferences with John Mad Dog Hall. And I'm not name dropping here that he would not know me from Adam, but really cool fella, a long history in the open source community. And one thing he said to a particular person that did some great work is you will never pay for a drink in my presence. So that's why I told Yuri here, I feel pretty safe doing this because I don't really go to conferences much anymore. <laughs> but, uh, Really awesome work, and Yuri says this is going to be uh, an update to Martin very soon, and it should fix the problem entirely. Uh, I went through, one of the things I was interested in doing is seeing what kind of a performance penalty you pay 
using PM tiles versus like an MB tiles file. And I assume there would be one because with an MB tiles file, it's a SQLite database. You're just saying uh, the tiles are already in just blobs in sec separate rows in a in a table, and it's just flinging that back to you. Whereas the PM tiles, it has to read the header, it has to get the offset information, it has to do a range request on that particular area and send it. So that's just going to be a longer thing to do. So I went ahead and tested that with DDoSify, and that is in fact the case. For uh, PM tiles for 10,000 requests uh, for a duration of 10 seconds, the average uh, response time was 0 0.0082 seconds, which again is, is really fast. I mean, it, this is probably fine, but for uh, MB tiles, it's 0 0.0002 seconds, which is practically does not exist in the space-time continuum. So MB tiles is faster in, in this particular use case. I imagine it's faster in general just because PM tiles, you have to do some more work. The, the joy of PM tiles is not performance per se. It's that you can just yeet the tile server into space and not need one is, is the real joy there. Anyway, Big shout out to uh, Yuri and and the Martin folks for, for fixing this so quickly and it should be available probably by the time you watch this. Anyway, I hope everybody's doing well and happy and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.